<laughs> no, I'm ready. To all the fake friends, where are they now? Probably in a party when I pull that fucking Audi out. Homies riding shoddy, draped in Gucci, looking golly. You not, cause your hobby is just sitting on your mama couch. So we are on the way to Lamborghini to test drive a car. I essentially got Ali, my new EA, just to ring up and book in a test drive. <clears throat> I'll probably test drive an another few awesome cars as well, under the premise that why the fuck wouldn't you? I mean, it's free. So I'm going to go test drive some cars. It's also really valuable from a law of attraction point of view to go in there, get your mind just wrapped around the idea of owning something like that purely from a potential point of view. It takes self-worth to go, yeah, this is, I, I deserve to have something like this and also to um, get yourself used to it so you know what it feels like. And to be honest with you, it feels cool, but I mean, it's not going to be that different to a normal car. And I've been in them before, but I mean, it's a good opportunity. So that's going to be awesome. And I totally suggest that you do the same thing. If you can't get a test drive, because they can tell you obviously uh, don't have the money for it, then they won't let you test drive it. And you will just be allowed to go and go in and, and sit in it. I mean, it's such a great law of attraction activity. So highly recommend it. Can't wait to do this. Come along for the ride and see how it goes. Yeah, never thought that I could make it this far. Got a long way to go, but I'm this far. Who'd have thought that I could hit rock bottom? Coming back and made blow up like this fall. Moving like a rocket, no Chris Paul. Money in the pocket like this all. Ain't no point to stop until your bitch call. Matter of fact, got like 15 missed calls. So just uh, finished test driving the Lamborghini Hurricane, and it is fucking awesome I mean it's just epic so oh, just an amazing experience free totally worth doing and uh, the actual car itself is fucking ridiculous the sound is amazing obviously the speeds amazing thrashed it a little bit which is epic uh, the interior is so much better than what I've seen I remember one of my friends when I lived in Perth five years ago I don't mean more than five, five, six years ago. One of my friend's dad had a Lamborghini and the interior was shit. Like it was just, like it was legitimately just really plain, almost like a race car, nothing in there. But this is epic. So the car's like 500 grand. The financing on it as well, if you want to finance it, I would finance it through the business. It costs like $1,500 a week. So I mean, it's it's not even expensive to, to get, so. I mean, you might look at a limitless episode in the next six months and I've got a Lambo. Epic, fucking awesome. So definitely recommend doing a, a test drive of a car that you really want because it's a, a really fun experience. One thing that I find since I've been going to the Dan Pena, uh, since I went to the Dan Pena event in Scotland, he spoke so much about insecurity and how it take, takes over everybody's lives. Every, everything that you do is to be liked. And so I've been noticing things that I do naturally. And one thing that I used to do a few years ago is there was, I would never cut in front of like a big line of cars ever. I saw people do it all the time, but I would never do it because I didn't want to have someone toot me or get pissed off or anything like that. So I'd always avoid it. But now every single time there's an opportunity to cut a line, I'll do it every single time. And I always let people in as well. So I get the positive karma there, but... <clears throat> I don't, I now have trained myself to not care. So like this line over there of these cars that are to the right is probably 50 cars long or something. And you can go right to the front here, save probably 10 minutes of driving. And everybody lets you in because they have to, if you merge it into their lane. So it's just the small things. So just trying to notice like the small things you do, that you really care about what people think with or you want to be liked for doing or things that you avoid doing because you want to be liked or avoid conflict in any way. And as long as, long as you're a good person, I never like flip anyone off. I just, I just jump in and then when anyone else wants to do it to me, I just let them in. But I save myself so much time. So notice the small things that you do out of insecurity and fear of being judged. It's, it's just crazy. It's like everything every day. So just keep noticing and, and look at the small things and try to avoid them at all costs and train yourself to operate doing exactly what you want to do from a good place in order to be the... Um, the best version of yourself and remove the insecurity. So many people that I speak to are aspiring towards creating an amazing environment for themselves. That might come in the form of 
getting a great car, might be living in a really nice place, might be having a, a beautiful partner. They've got all these beautiful visualizations of what they want to achieve, but they don't know how it feels to have that. And so because there's a disconnect between where they are and where they want to be, their brain doesn't actually realize what it's like to live there. So it finds it hard to adapt to the idea of creating and, and actually having that. So I just went out, as you guys just saw, test drove a Lambo and bought a little fucking key ring, which is the key ring you get if you buy the car, like for my Merc. Yeah, they give you that, but you can buy that as well if you want with my car. And the funny thing is, like, when you're in the car, you can understand, if, if you're approaching it from the standpoint of, I know I'm going to be able to have one of these, it feels real. And your brain gets used to the idea of what it actually means to own something like that. Same thing when I, I went and inspected different houses or I went and made friends with people that are doing really well. And when I got my first car, when I got this car, um, which is, cost about $180,000 to get this car brand new, I got it second hand in pretty good nick. <clears throat> I honestly didn't think I was gonna be able to afford it for a little while, but I paid $1,200, I think, $1,200 or $1,500 to rent the car for two days, and I drove it around, and then I said in my mind, because I love cars, I know, you know, like this watch cost me $80 because I don't give a fuck about watches, but I love cars. So it's like a passion of mine. And uh, within a couple of months, I had bought that car and I didn't think that was going to happen, but I found a way to make it happen. It actually ended up being cheaper than what I expected to be able to finance it through the business. Very cheap. <clears throat> but I didn't expect to have that. Soon as I um, actually test drove it, my mind uh, was able to grapple with the idea of owning it because it became real to me. So if you want to achieve a certain thing, maybe it's uh, live in a nice house, start going and attending inspections, start looking at what it feels like to be in there and picture, visualize um, what it's like to actually live in it, not just walk through it, feel what it feels like to actually exist in it, to create those neuro connections, to give yourself more chance of achieving in those areas. It's what I've always done, and I've always been able to manifest through hard ass work and strategizing the tangibles behind, like I got a quote today for this, to figure out how much it's gonna take, so now I know in my head I can plan towards when I'll get it, when it fits in right, balancing investment strategy with buying things that I enjoy for fun, but now I've got a strategy because it's real to me and I know it's going to happen. So if you can do the same for yourself, you'll be able to create the same level of experience with what you want to manifest in your life as well. I don't want to save ya, I just want the kitty, no I'm kidding, I don't want a hoe, I just want a milli, wife like Chrissy, bitch I'm a legend like Will, housing Calabasas, party in the hills, that's life goes, bitch I'ma get it, I'ma fucking do it cause I said it, hanging out the window with a Lexus, fuck that, rolling a guinea, flexing, top back, haters can you see me, I should stop that, heir to the throne, bitch I want my spot back, million dollar home where I want my mom at, left a message on your phone, God, I'm just waiting for my call back, I'm losing eyes, society, doing my best not to have my job.